really hear me, bitch. Nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain. Mambo Jumbo, my lovely people, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, thank you so much for joining the family. We want to welcome you. Please feel at home, as well as my returning subscribers. As always, thank you so much for your love, support, everything nice you do to me on this specific channel. Hey, guys, hey, we were in Jamaica for the last two, three days, and a lot of things were happening back in Yabohanse with. Of course, the king of Nebuchadnezzar, Mara himself, and of course, the brother who is also in Nairobi. Things have been happening between him and Casta. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be here to talk about Davy and Casta. However, there is something that David Jr. did in Nairobi that I want to talk about, okay? I absolutely want to talk about, I want to bring it up here in the red room, yes, in the red room, and we discuss, analyze, and do everything that we do right here, especially when it comes to reacting on the videos that they do what? They do put out here on public. <laughs> if you don't want us to talk about it, don't put it here, don't parade it here. If you don't want us as reactors, me as a reactor to talk about you, do not bring yourself on social media. Better yet, get off social media forever, <laughs> for good, okay? Now, there's a lot of confusion, guys. A lot of confusion happening in Villa Medellin. I looked, guys, you know what happened, okay? I've not watched Mara like his last three videos, okay? And you know when that happens, you really have to come together and pull yourself together and create time <laughs> to watch the over one hour long videos. It's not fun, okay? It's not fun. I've said it and people also have complained. Yo, your videos are too long. What is happening? But that is not the point. I went to watch yesterday's live, no, yesterday's video, and Mara is doing demolitions. He's punching the walls, he's building walls outside the main house. And I'm like, what is all this? What is all this? Guys, how long do we have until the party? I think maybe 17, 16, 17 days. And this guy is not completed his villa. People are telling him, Mara, why are you so concerned about the outside? What is this funny wall thing that you're putting on the outside to protect the house, like the main house? I didn't really understand what protecting the main house is, but I'm trying to understand that Mara doesn't want people next to his wall okay because he's talking about putting flowers and trees and all this and i'm thinking okay so maybe he doesn't want people to get close to the to the house because it's white in color so if you're hanging around constantly there and walking and you know, blowing dust and all this fingerprints so on and so forth you're going to make his exterior the outside that wall dirty so that is what i have in mind unless guys you come and tell me otherwise okay because Mara was out here doing all these things at one go. He's complaining about, I'm so tired. I'm back to being tired. I'm not feeling well. He's coughing left, right, center. And I'm thinking, yo, take a chill pill. Take a chill pill. Mara, how many times hey, hey, have people told you, push forward this one month long party. No one needs it right now. But it looks like we are not even there and he really wants to do everything at the same time just to impress all these visitors that are going to be coming for this party. Maybe I'm not understanding something. But tell me again why Marwa will want to put a pond, like a fish pond, guys, <laughs> all around his house. I am not understanding it. I cannot understand why he wants to put a fish pond all around his house. Guys, I'm looking at it this way and maybe you can help me if you can. If you have a fish pond, please let me know. 
I'm imagining how smelly <laughs> this place is going. Do you know when you go to the lake and there's all these fishermen and where there's fish in this water, the way it smells, the way it just, it's not pleasant. And I'm looking at tomorrow talking about we are going to be, you know, digging a fish pond all through around this house. And then we are going to be dipping in, throwing in some fish. And I'm like, who's going to be taking... <laughs> Who's going to be taking care of this? I think we've come here in the past and said it's a huge house for no reason and there's a lot of maintenance that is required with, you know, a huge house like what he has, okay? Just to maintain it, to make sure everything is spotless. Now he wants to be dropping fish outside, outside his house. Where are you going to be breathing? What about the mosquitoes that will be breeding in this place because i can imagine this is just a stagnant thing stagnant water with fish swimming in there the leaves are going to drop in the fish is going to poop other fishes are going to be dying in there what sort of stage is going to be just coming from that specific pond <laughs> is that going to be an inlet or an outlet i highly doubt so now Mara thinks because his land is just on water, okay? Because there are water pockets, water springing out of every corner of his compound. It's going to be safe for him just to be putting fish, a fish pond outside all around his house. Mara, you will get a rude shock of your life. <laughs> that place will be smelly as hell. People have told you, people are advising you on the comment section, but I know you never listen. You will not listen to them because this is what you want. Mara, why are you spending so much time with the outside, the exterior? You don't have beds. <laughs> you don't have chairs. What have you put in the house apart from just your bed? Because I'm looking, guys, is the kitchen fixed yet? I've missed two videos. I have people talk about the kitchen cabinets. Please let me know because I haven't watched him. Is the kitchen set? Are the bathrooms fully set? Are the toilets fixed? People want you to fix the toilets and have running water so that they can use the toilets in your own house that you call a villa. But Maru again will go around showing us where he's digging very shallow latrines next to where people will be sleeping in the forest. If you remember the forest, guys, I'll bring you receipts where he was talking about putting hammocks and people sleeping here and there. We are going to be coming to those receipts because, guys, I do not understand this fascination about latrines. I do not understand. What is a pit latrine for in 2023 with such an expensive building, house, a villa? You will not use the toilets and use and flush them, but you will go and do your do in the forest, in the bush, in a shallow pit latrine. You will advise me, guys. Advise me accordingly as well on this video, okay? So I think it's time we dive into <laughs> the first receipt. <laughs> the first receipt of the day, guys, because there's a lot of confusion going on right here. And I'm thinking this is so, so wrong. So, so wrong, Mara. So, so wrong. Mara, your people want you to get some pot potable portable toilets and then Mara is saying that oh they will fill up and I'm thinking just get someone with a portable uh, toilets and put that for your visitors your guests use okay because it's decent it's 2023 like people in the village don't most of them don't even use latrines anymore unless you go to the very interior 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 where you cannot miss a pit latrine guys because also where i come from my dad has a pit latrine we are not in the village but he has built in a town center but there's a pit latrine but i've not gone to that pit latrine okay we use the main house because we want to be flushing the toilet as well why would i go to the pit latrine and also he said he's not going to be putting <laughs> like cement he's not going to be cementing that place for you guys <laughs> if you remember the video that he did in Mama Ann's old house, 
when he explained that he's just going to be surrounding that latrine with trees and probably it's going to be open, open roof because there are trees all over. That is the picture that came to my mind. Mara, why do you want to put a pit latrine next to where the people are going to be putting their tents, their hammocks? Why? Dirty place, flies flying in and out of the toilet. You're telling people to come on here and learn how to measure the whole diameter. Position yourself in the latrine, the pit latrine. <laughs> do your do. God forbid if you guys have a running stomach because you will not even be able to step in there because they are <laughs> Do I tell you or do I not tell you? There is going to be a lot of people who are going to be missing the mark <laughs> There's a lot of people who will be missing the mark and you have to use it Because you're with it right there in the forest where your beds your bedrooms are so what is going to be happening? What is going to be happening? Again, it's going to be contaminating the river, but does Mara care? I don't think so. I don't think so. Guys, I'm speaking too much. I'm not bringing any receipts on here, okay? <clears throat> Let's go to the receipts before we go to <laughs> my grandson, David Jr. Because David Jr., what did you do? What did you do in this Nairobi? So guys, what you see here, these are pit latrines. I'm digging for for the usage of the pie. We already have a pit latrine here. Uh -huh. Ten feet for one month. I think this will be like ladies. And on the other side, we have men. We have already people cleaning this place. You know, so people will be camping inside this forest here. My villa is right there. I don't know if you see something white showing. You have to be keen. It's right, right, right here. So let me see what's going on. So you see, even people can sit down. Have guys working here. Alright. That's my pig. Hey, Mura Mana. Hey, guys, that's some native language. So now guys, for anyone who does not know how a pit latrine works, I had a live here to tell you guys that you need to be googling so that you are up to speed <laughs> with what you're going to be meeting in this village because it's going to go down, okay? It's going to go down. Now I'm looking for the receipts where he's telling you guys that he's not going to be slabbing the pit latrines. He's just going to be making the pit latrine as villagey as possible, okay? You know, Mara has always wanted, okay, Mara, wait. Mara has always wanted for you guys to experience <laughs> the village life. That's why he was talking about charging you guys around 5,000. Kenya shillings was it Kenya shillings or was it USD to come experience and have a taste of poverty on Mama Anne's previous house okay that was actually brought down after all and everyone was saying why would I leave America to come to Africa to have a taste of <laughs> poverty are you crazy guys okay let's hear what he's saying I want to put our tents for camping or if we are digging the toilet. Actually, I think I'll go to the African style. No slab, just trees, and you sit and measure. Pukudu. I want to give you an adventure of Africa because that's how most toilets are in Africa. Actually, we call them pit latrines. Pit latrines. So I'm coming to inspect here what's going on. And I think these boys have done really a recommendable job. Mm -hmm. They wanted to burn it, but I'm, I'm afraid if they burn, they may end up burning the entire forest. I think I'll ask them to put this on the fence. 
you know. So already the forest here, they are cleaning a lot of preparation, guys, for the big party. We only have like two weeks, you know. So what's left here is to put a fence. I'll put a fence here. All right, so now he'll be putting a fence for you guys in the forest and put in like, um, here we call them Maasai guards, okay? Maasai, Maasai, like the Maasai, Maasai guards, like security people, okay? That is what he said. This is just not his usual, you know, uh, guys that have been contracted, the police contracted to work for him, of which, in which, guys, he actually said that this company approached him and they said that they'll be providing security for the full party for free, okay? But he's going to be having guys on there with machete and, you know, all these things just to keep everybody secure, okay? So we're going to see what is going to be happening, guys. He will not put a slab for you. So you really need to know that you're going to be... If he doesn't put a slab, then the only thing that is going to happen is that he's going to put wood across, okay? And then they're just, there's going to be a hole in the middle. If I get a picture from the internet, I'm going to be posting for you guys, okay? So that you just have an idea of what could actually be happening. Or better yet, I'll go back and get that Mama Anne's old toilet and have you guys watch that okay so it's really going to be an exercise if your knees and legs are not strong guys you're going to be uh, <laughs> you're going to be missing <laughs> that point you know like the, the hole itself okay so now guys that's that right mara had a disclaimer for you visitors who are coming to this party who will be sleeping especially camping in the forest where he's digging these pit latrines for you please listen in very carefully because i don't want you to miss on something and then you come saying oh we were not told you didn't update us we should have known i wish we knew now we've already you know spoiled everything on here look for the party okay let's go uh Book for the party, guys. Look for the party. All right, let's go. Panic. Let me use the toilet here. I wanna, I wanna urinate, guys. I wanna urinate. Long time ago, I used to show you this, but people complained. A few people. But you guys don't know how it's so beautiful to just urinate in nature. But if you come, please don't urinate in the forest because you'll be many of you. When it's too much, it's bad. But one or two, that's okay. Even three. But from ten and above, not okay. So, I'll come back and show you the progress of the house. I don't even know when this video will go out. My expectation was today. But uh, I'll see. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> we have the goats. Thank you for the guys who bought me the goats, guys. Oh my you. god. My oh my god guys you, you can actually you can actually hear the way he's panting you know because he's tired he's not sat down he's not feeding he's unwell he's coughing and i can imagine he's coughing at the same time shaking people's hands at the same time pulling out his whatever and doing his do and at the same time passing all this bacteria virus toxins i don't know how you call them to other people first of all these handshakes they really really piss me off but guys have you heard what he's told you do not pee in his property <laughs> mara is free to do all this around the world but he doesn't want people to be peeing around in his own compound so he knows it's not right Mara, not few people, it's not a few, one or two or three people who complained that you should not be showing yourself doing this thing on camera. People have been crying. People have been crying every single time for you to stop this nasty behavior. So now what? In my own opinion, you still told us what you're doing. We could hear what you're doing. What is that? How relevant is that? In this day and age and in your videos how is it adding any value to your video so actually the travel commando knows it's wrong to do this that's why he's giving you guys a disclaimer <laughs> don't go messing around in his compound because he already has said that it's going to be filthy and smelly 
that is what you've been doing across the world Mara. that is what you have been doing now let me play you the receipts where he's saying that he'll be putting a fish pond and i think we'll be done with Mara before we jump to his brother david jr who is really doing fishy funny things in nairobi together with Casta. okay so let's just play this clip and then we proceed So guys here, we want to put uh, concrete all the way in this metal here because I want to build a wall here and this other side we will put another wall also so that we can have what we call fish pond running from there all the way around the house. You see this water? This water will be turned into a fish pond. This one here. The lumber is still working. Guys, this has been one of my most hectic days. When I left uh, the last scene of this video, I went to Migori to look for marbles, kitchen marbles. We found one. And uh, right here now, we let me show you what we did today. We put our... It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. <laughs> I cannot wait to see all this, you know. I'm really curious. I cannot wait for when the leaves will start now dropping into the fish pond. Bosiamboka biting and eating fish from the fish pond. I don't know what chickens are going to be drinking water from these fish ponds. All his guinea fowls, his porcupines, his goats and cows coming to drink this water. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's going to be crazy. But all in all, guys, it's a few days to the, to the party the one month long party and people are still not understanding how one person can hold a party for one month long okay one month is a long time it's a long long time i've seen lots of concerns especially when it comes to catering some people are of the idea that tea is not really qualified to be handling food from what they have seen and what she is presenting you know she's been doing she's been doing all these cookouts and all these funny things that she's been doing there's some people who are like uh -uh, you're not up to par okay we don't think or I, they don't think that she'll be she'll be able to handle it but guys has the kitchen been constructed <laughs> has the kitchen been constructed that is a question guys that is a question that needs to be solved and answered you know but there are a lot of things to be done as well fitting the kitchen buying beds like we said the bathrooms all fitted with toilet at least water closets and all this but is there water to be flushing these toilets in the house in the villa that's why you guys are going where are going to the pit latrines outside where next where you'll be living okay so many things so so many things but i'm really excited to see this fish pond remember guys marrow your house stands on water your land is full of water and you still want to add more water around your house i don't want to say something and then you guys come saying yeah hey, hey. yeah let's leave it at that how are you going to be enjoying your balcony with this tent of the fish pond coming from beneath who am I, guys? Who am I to be yappy yapping, yappa yapping? <laughs> Let us go straight to my grandson. Grandson went to Nairobi, okay? If you are not aware, he drove himself to Nairobi together with a friend of his, and he's been there for a week, okay? Now, this period, people were asking, where is Casta? Why are you not meeting up? But way before that, guys were asking, why did Casta come for your granddad's burial? Because we expected to see her there, seeing as she's your bestie, bestie, best of friends, okay? But apparently, she came out to say that she's not been feeling well. Now, she's, she's now feeling well. <laughs> I know that David Jr. was in Nairobi. She is now feeling well, okay? And these two people now are treating each other in a way that is even more amplified than what we used to see. When you go to the comment section, you'll see people, you know, talking and saying, oh, you guys, now this is too much. Take it to the next level, David Jr. We can see how you're now back to glowing. Guys, 
views are not your mate okay you will do anything for these views i knew he would meet up with caster i knew he was going to meet up with caster point blank because his videos were not doing well and we know david jr again let's repeat relationship construction what else what else guys <laughs> mom relationships construction congrats mom okay of course you can see from the number of views that he is getting she is getting finally her channel has been revamped revamped and it's on now and she's saying i'll be uploading frequently because she was not really feeling well so now while they were in Yabuhansi, if we remember, Casta did a facial massage and all this, you know, when she was pressing David Jr.'s head on her bosom. <laughs> and guys were like, whoa, what is all this? Now, this time around, the, the roles were reversed, okay? Now, it was for David Jr. to now do Casta's facial, okay? David Jr. was high on something. David Jr. was just talking and talking, talking, telling this girl, I love you. You know I love you, right? <laughs> and doing that stupid laughter giggles that they do, okay? So I want us to play that receipt because we also want to be closing. There's nothing much. What, guys, what else do you expect from Casta and Davy? okay? Let me see. <laughs> guys <laughs> are you ready <laughs> i was before i play you i was looking at david jr and in my mind i'm thinking david jr what did you have before this video was shot because i do remember there's a point in time where he said that he does not drink correct me on the comment section i could be wrong but he said something like that but looking at this guy he was high on something because he was really pulling his speech it's like he was going and going and going to just shut down and i was laughing and i'm thinking david jr i've not seen you like this lately okay so let me play this clip and then we come back and close because <laughs> we need to go and be doing some more research right here on youtube mm. Um, 
I'm leaving this place yeah. in which uh, I've been calling home for the last one week. Close yeah. one week. Yeah. But I'm uh, sure they'll be back. Mm -hmm. I'm coming back so that we can print more videos. Yeah, like we have many projects in store, guys. We can't wait to share with you. Yes. Yeah, I'm happy and excited. Uh, I came and found you like you're good. Mm -hmm. Though you are very sick, yeah. but uh, all in all, we thank God. Yeah, we thank God for life. Mm -hmm. Just take care of yourself. And just know I got you, I got your back. No matter what, I want to be there for you. You know I love you, right? Mm -hmm. Look at me. I love you. Guys, it is what it is, okay? Just like David Jr. would say, it is what it is. David and Custer back together, back to telling each other that they love each other. You can see how the touch was soft. <laughs> how my grandson was high on something, how he was just... You know, guys, if you go to the comment section, you're going to be getting a lot of reactions about what people felt about that video because it was, whoa, whoa, PG 18, I think, or 16. Is it 16 in Poland or 14? <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for being here. I do appreciate your time. Devi, I'm sure, is back in the village. I hope Marwa uh, listens to people and reads his comment section because as it looks his PA and everybody around him are not doing anything to be helping him in just collecting all this information and just putting it point blank on his face and say that this is what guys are saying this is what they're thinking but let's wait to see what is going to be happening all right if you are not subscribed and would love to subscribe please always know that you are free to do so and i on trending will definitely catch you on my next video bye bye